Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know the camera is kind of far away. I was trying to get it and it's a little crooked. I'm sorry about this. Okay, so today I did a little shopping and I got some fall farmhouse decor. I am looking for one of those metal like signs that go this way that, that are white that say cotton on them and Hobby Lobby doesn't have it. I went to Michael's, I went to Joann's, none of them have it, Christmas Tree Shop. And even when I search their website, like I've seen some people haul that they got it from Kirkland's. I don't have a Kirkland's in my state, but I've ordered online from them several times. Um, they don't even have it on their site. So I have to order it from, I don't know, a site I don't know, which doesn't bother me, but they're very expensive. They're like 50 or $60, so I'm trying to find it for cheaper, but I can't, and that's kind of what I went out for today. So what I did was I first went to Christmas Tree Shop because I was going to buy this four-foot like light-up tree for fall. It had leaves and stuff on it, and it was $20, and when I seen it, I was like, mm, it's kind of big, four feet. They had a smaller one. I The smaller one was kind of small. I think it was two feet. And I was like, mm, I really don't need this. Then I got to store it, and it was indoor use only. And I said, you know, I'll just put it back. And then I picked up this big, it was $30. It was a big wooden pumpkin. It was like, had to be two feet tall. You could put a light in it if you want. Um, I was going to get it, and I said, mm, $30. So I put that back. I did get a couple of things from Christmas Tree Shop. Then from there, I said, I want to go to Hobby Lobby. That was my goal to go to the town I was in because that town has all the stores. I said, I want to go look for this cotton sign. So I said, well, let me go to Dollar Tree because it's up that way and everything else was down this way. Hobby Lobby, Michaels and all that and then going home. So I said, let me go to this Dollar Tree up here because it's a big one. And to my surprise... I found more of those pumpkin stems with the three little pumpkins on them. I bought all the orange ones, even though I have like seven of them. I think I bought another six or so, whatever orange ones they had. And I think I bought three more red ones because last time I was at the store, they had one red one and the pumpkin was broken off. I had to glue it. So I said, let me get some like three more red ones. And now I'm done. I'm not going to buy any more. And they actually had the cotton stems. I only bought four, and I said, why did I even buy them? Because I just ordered some from Michael's. I have some from Hobby Lobby. And I said, well, I'll get these and stick them in my kid's bathroom or something. They don't really impress me. Yes, if you can find them and you don't want to spend the money on the ones from Hobby Lobby or Michael's when you can get them for $3.99 a stem, the Dollar Tree is okay, but they're plastic and they look plastic. So... I'm not putting anybody down who buys them fine. You buy them, you like them. I bought them. And as I'm standing in lines, I was thinking to myself, why am I buying them? Because I must have over 20 cotton stems from Hobby Lobby. And Michael's, I just bought 10 because they had buy one, get one free. So I bought 10 cotton stems from them. And from Hobby Lobby, I think I have about almost 20. And I have them in two different things. Anyways, I said, let me get them. I've been looking for them for a long time, and I just really am not impressed with them. They're okay. I don't know. I might just stick them in, like I said, my kid's bathroom place. I really don't care where they are. Um, they just they don't impress me like I thought they would. They're, they're decent. If you can't find, I mean, if you don't want to spend the extra couple bucks on the Hobby Lobby ones, they're fine, but for me, since I have... Hobby Lobby and Michaels and they're close to looking they're they're you know they're not plastic and I just love them that I get these and I'm like eh they're okay but hey I got them anyways so let me stop rambling out oh so after the Dollar Tree I went to to Hobby Lobby they didn't have a cotton sign and I picked up a couple little things there then I went to Michael's to see if they had a sign. I didn't think they were going to. I picked up two little buckets from them. And then I said, let me try Joanne's, which was across the street. And I didn't think they would have it, but I picked up one thing at Joanne's. And then there was another Dollar Tree. And I said, let me swing in that one and see what they got. And I really didn't get anything. I had a couple food items in that Dollar Tree. And then I had ordered stuff 
from Hobby Lobby and that came when I was home because I'm going to show you something I ordered from Decor Steels and I'm really not impressed with Decor Steels. The second thing I've ordered from them, I'm not going to order anymore. They're expensive and I don't think the quality is all that. That look much better on the website. I When I show you, I'll explain why I'm not really happy with it and I don't know if I can return it. I'm just going to keep it and use it, but I'm not super impressed with it. I wanted to put it on this wall. It's like a wooden thing with hooks. The hooks are humongous. I, I thought, you know, farmhouse. The wood is like really, it's just bulky. I... Not impressed with it for $30. I see nicer ones at Hobby Lobby. I would have rather, I may just get um, a galvanized um, metal shelf for this that has like three little hooks on it because I think that would look better than this thing. And I may just hang this up in a hallway somewhere. I'm done with decor steels. Even though this stuff looks good, I don't think the quality is the best and they're expensive. So now let me get into the haul. And I will show you the stuff I got. So I'm just in no order. It's going to be from different stores. Whatever I just grab here. So when I was checking out at Joann's, I seen these. And they were only a dollar. And it's coconut lime. And I do like the smell of coconut lime. So I said, oh, for a dollar um, a piece, the hand soaps, I'm like, I'll, I'll take them. I'll use them in my kitchen. At They're cheaper than... Um, Bath and Body Works, but I do like Bath and Body Works. But for a dollar, I got them because I can always use soap. And actually, I think I only have a couple left. Next, I'm going to pull out is these were both from Michaels. And I thought they were really cute. And they're actually pretty heavy. And they were, I want to say 40% off. This little, like, galvanized metal tin that I was going to hang on one of the things. Um, it was $6.99. And I only paid, like, um, I think I got almost $3 off of it. And then I got this one. I really like this one. So either I'm going to use it for pumpkins now. I have some wheat from the dollar store. I may use these for the fall. And then I'll use them all year round. I'll put something in them. So that's that. Then at Christmas Tree Shop, I thought these were so cute. They're just like hard pumpkins, but they're wrapped in like velvet. They're so cute, and this pack was $6.99. Now, Christmas Tree Shop is not the cheapest either anymore. But I thought these were cute, and I can throw them in this if I want. And, you know, obviously take that off, but I think they'll look cute. That came from Christmas Tree Shop. This next pumpkin came from Christmas Tree Shop. I really liked it, and it was $6.99, and nothing's ever on sale at the Christmas Tree Shop. But it's like retain oh I don't know what you want to call this like retain I don't know what this is called but I really like it and I I am a traditional fall colors person I like the neutrals but I like my oranges and my browns and my greens and my reds for fall because that's just I do like neutral too but I like this and this is what my decor is so I thought it was cute so I got that pumpkin then I seen this Little pumpkin, kind of expensive. This was $3.99, but it's like plastic. And it looks very bright orange on there, but it's really a dull, muted orange. It's kind of like, see, these look a lot brighter on the camera, but they're kind of a dark orange, darker than they look on camera. Like, that looks really bright, and it's not bright at all. It's really like a, a dark orange it's it's I mean I like the orange it's not bright it's, it looks like a neon on there and then I seen these at Christmas tree shop and I thought they were cute and they were $4.99 they're just these little corns I will keep them tied together and put them out in decor somewhere but that's that stuff and then I also I guess I'll just do the last thing from Christmas tree shop which I thought was very cute and I got him is this little ghost that sticks into the ground and I'm going to put him outside and he was $5.99 you know again not the cheapest stuff for you know like this this probably should be like like two dollars or something six dollars is a bit much but then I see there's a couple things I got here from Hobby Lobby that I'll show you I got this little a bunch because I may use it in here after because I really like the way this greenery looks and like these kind of 
tins. So like after the holidays and stuff, I bought it for this. And I have this actually, I think in one of my other tins that I got hanging over here on my wall. Um, this was $6.99. They were not having 50% off, but I used my 40% off coupon. So I really liked it. And that looks good in there when I'm going to do it that way. Then, oh, I got my son a pair of socks because he loves them. And I thought these were cute with little pumpkins on them. So those are very cute. And they were 40% off. They're full stuff. Then I picked up four sheets of this. It just looks like um, beadboard, you want to call it, shiplap, um, paneling, 69 cents. And I've seen people, I bought four pieces of those. I've seen people, I'm very warm, sorry. Um, and it's not focusing. I've seen someone on YouTube take the picture frames from Dollar Tree, cut this to fit the inside, and then use it. And it looked like, you know, a frame, you know, board in the back. So I said, oh, that's a neat idea. And for 70 cents a piece, I bought four. And then let me show you some of the Dollar Tree stuff. And then I'll get into Hobby Lobby, I guess, what I ordered online. So I picked up these. I thought they were really cute color. These are the Mini Mums. And they're like, and they got these curly things coming on. They're very cute. And they're like a light orange. And I thought even if I bend the stems, they're way too tall now. But if I were to bend the stems and put them in. Because I don't really cut my stems and I've heard other YouTubers. I don't because what if I want to use them in something long? That's even cute. Well, I'd have to fix it. But you can get away with like using it in something like this. I'd have to fix them though because they're not sitting in there right. Oh, and then I got candy, which I don't really need to. I got my son some candy. So on to the Dollar Tree. I got four of these cotton stems. And as I'm standing in line, I'm like, I really should put them back. I really don't need cotton stems. They... To me are very plasticky like this is better but when you get to the leaves that's holding them they should feel like this this feels like I don't know like it's it's not plastic but that's just plastic and I don't know I I will find something to do with them I didn't want to go crazy they did have quite a few not I mean they had a box in it Maybe had 20 of them and I wasn't going to grab them all because I was going to put these back. I really wasn't even going to get them. And then these are what I was talking about. These guys. So I picked up all their orange ones. I just love these. These are like my favorite things from the Dollar Tree that look so cute. So I have them in a galvanized like milk jug that I got at Hobby Lobby and I have these in them with my Hobby Lobby cotton stems and it looks so cute so I bought the rest of these that they had at that store and then I had purchased because first I went to one section and I only seen this one red one and I pulled it out and I said oh I'll get another one because I have one red one now in with all the orange so I said, oh, let me get it because they don't see these. I've, this is the only Dollar Tree that I've ever found them in. The only one. This one that I go to. Um, and they're one of the bigger ones I go to. So I grabbed them. And I got one, two, three of this color. And then one, two, three... Four, five. It looks like six or seven of the orange color because it's all the orange colors. They had more of the red, but I just wanted that. And then like where these were, the cotton stems were like right underneath them. So I grabbed that stuff from the Dollar Tree. And then let me move on to, oh, let me show you what I got from Decor Skills that I'm really not happy with. That is like big and clunky and it really doesn't impress me at all. And it was $30 and I'm just not going to hang it on the wall here. I'm going to get something else. It basically is it going the wrong way? I don't know. It's supposed to be. So it's this 
wooden like shelf thing and these things are heavy and I, I just don't know they just clunky I'm not impressed with it I thought it looked better I was gonna put it on this wall here up and take that wreath and hang it like in the center one and then hang some of the baskets or something I don't know I'm just not super impressed with that I, I might put it there I really don't know and then I went to Joann's and I picked up this. This now Joann's is expensive. This is $30, but they had 50% off, so I got it for $14.99. I really liked it. I was like, oh, I don't want to not get it because I want to use it um, in this kitchen. And there's got to be a wall because there's a little wall behind my door there that I made a kitchen sign. And I have a like a rusty old wooden spoon there. Um so I'm going to find a spot. Even I may put this in my family room over here. Right next to me is my family room. Because um, there's not a lot of decor on the wall. I like it. It's not simple. I have a couple Tabasco ba tobacco baskets with two wreaths in them. I have like a wooden window with a wreath. And I just have a thing that says home sweet home. And then I have a shelf on top behind my couch with not much on it. So I may hang this in that room. And then, let me show you what I ordered from Hobby Lobby online. Oh, I got this at Hobby Lobby, too, when I was there. I thought this was cute. A little, like, steak, metal steak. This is Harvest, and it was 40% off. It was $2.99. This I had gotten on Hobby Lobby's website. It's a rug, and it was only $5.99. It feels like foam, like a cushion thing, but it says farmhouse. And I thought it was very cute for my kitchen. For $5.99, it's a really good deal. I'm going to put it in my kitchen when we're done here. I am sitting in my kitchen, actually, but I'm going to put it near my sink. Now, you have to excuse me because I have to reach to get the stuff that I ordered online from Hobby Lobby. So, let me grab it all and then show you guys it. Let me grab it all and then I'll show you guys the rest. i got to grab two more things. So, I also ordered from Amazon um a hook a metal bar with little like s hooks that i'm gonna put on my island so this is some of the stuff i bought to hang from the s hooks there's like 10 s hooks i'm only gonna do like put maybe six on and hang like three or four things and that's it on there but this was one of the things i thought about getting it is kind of big though that i was going to use it was 9.99's like olive basket or I can use it for that thing that I showed you, but I don't know yet. Then I thought these were cute for like a rustic. I can hang this from the shelf too. It looks like an old whisk with um the wooden thing. And these are very cheap. They were on sale. This is $9.99, but I think it was like half off or something because it really wasn't a lot. I bought this little galvanized thing t for my last name and i'm gonna get a little hook and hook it i thought that was some i'm probably gonna use that on the island because i was thinking of things to hang from the one in the island then i got these two they remind me of like what strawberries come in but they're galvanized i thought for either this thing that i'm gonna put back here or the one these were half off they're 11.99 i think i got two for less than 11.99 they might have been more than half off so i got two of these and then I got this, which I thought was really, really cute, too, and old-fashioned, antique-looking. This is, I don't think it really works because it looks like it's bent, but I don't know if it's supposed to be bent because I don't think you're really, yeah, you wouldn't be able to use it because it's got a thing going through it. But I want to hang this. I thought this was super cute. Um, this is an old... Um, like mixer and it was $9.99 see it's got the little hook to hang it from so I can either hang it over there on my wall with the wooden thing or I can hang it from those hooks I don't know and then like they were having free shipping but I had to get it up to I think $50 so I just added these on and I really like these little picks they're very cute either I'm going to stick them in something or I'm going to take them off the picks and just use the pumpkins they were $1.49, and I got three of them. I just thought they were really cute. And again, they look very bright, but they're like a, a dull orange. 
they're very cute so that is my haul um it's a little long for me i just hope you guys enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye <laughs>